from JD News, live from Draper, Utah, Monday, May 11th, 2020. This is Good Morning, Juan Diego. Well, good morning, JD. Uh, today's Monday. It's an A day. Uh, we're sitting here uh, outside the courtyard at St. John the Baptist Parish. It's absolutely beautiful outside right now. It's, it's amazing. Did you hear the bells a couple minutes ago? I did. I did hear the bells. You know, we're really lucky at Juan Diego or the Skies Catholic Center. We have two bell towers. And at St. John the Baptist, the, the bells ring every well, they ring every 15 minutes inside the church, but at the top of every hour they ring. Why is that? Why do they ring at the top of the hour? What it, was that about? It's kind of like uh, uh, the, the... What's it from? Is it from Westminster, the tradition of Westminster in well, uh, London, England? Or is it really a monastic tradition that goes back even further? Well, it's a little bit of both. There's different sets of chimes. What we have on our campus that plays is what's called the Westminster chime that's on the hour every 15 minutes, but you're right. It originated, it, it was a way in old days when they didn't have clocks or watches, it's what called the monks to prayer, you know, or, or it told people in villages that it was time to pray or to gather. That's how they kept, that's how they kept track of what time it was. So we keep that tradition here at the Skaggs Catholic Center. We do it at, just outside of St. John the Baptist. It's just right over my shoulder where the bell tower is for St. John's. And then in the central uh, circle tower, we have chimes there as well yeah it's a, it's a it's a great way to call people to prayer so speaking, speaking of that of prayer yeah what um, should we do miss moynihan uh is going to lead us in prayer today so miss moynihan take us away hi juan diego may is the month of mary so today i wanted to read one of my favorite poems to you about the annunciation this poem is by ronnie maria rilke You're not more near to God than we, to him all things are far, and yet your hands how wondrously grown full of grace they are. Such hands by woman never grew so ripe so fulsomely. I am the day, I am the dew, you are the tree. I'm weary now, such leagues I've come. Forgive me, I forgot what he who sat within the sun told me to speak about. He said to say to you who sense, but space unsettles me. Look. I am the beginning, hence you are the tree. I lifted up my wings abroad and spanned a mighty space, and now my garments overflow. Your little dwelling place, and still you sit here so forlorn and hardly look at me. I'm merely wind among the thorns, you are the tree. All angels are as shy as this, and let each other be. And yet I've never felt before desire so mightily. Perhaps, perhaps it has occurred what you have dreamed and guessed, all hail, for now my soul beholds how ripe you are at last. You are a high and mighty door, and soon will open wide. You are the wood, the sweetest ear, to which I sing and yet I fear. My songs are lost inside. And so I've come, a thousand dreams are now fulfilled through me. God looked at me, the lightning flashed. You are the tree. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, we're back. I want to thank Ms. Moynihan for the prayer. And, you know, yesterday was Mother's Day, so we should acknowledge all the great mothers that we have out there and our own great mothers and honor and celebrate what they bring to the world. It's one of my favorite days. I love, uh, my mom has been gone almost, uh, you know, t almost 20 years, but I still have a lot of very powerful, wonderful, loving women in my life that are moms. It's a great day. I love, I love Mother's Day. Yeah, well, you know, something else happened yesterday, too, was the return of Mass at St. John the Baptist Parish. Yeah, Saturday night they started, I think. Didn't they? Yeah, so ask me about Mass. T uh, t well, tell me about Mass. So, it was, I have to really credit Father Tilly and uh, Monsignor Moore for their efforts. There were seven Masses said yesterday. And Saturday, I went to the four o'clock mass on Saturday. There was a six o'clock mass, and then on Sunday there were masses. Let me see if I got it right: eight, ten, noon, two, and four. So every two hours, starting at eight o'clock. Every two hours, there were seven total masses, wow. and the limit was like twenty or twenty-five people per mass. I went to the four o'clock mass, and Monsignor Moore uh, did the service, and there was. I mean, you know, when you restart something like that, it was. I think there were twenty people there. And uh, Monsignor Moore and Deacon Jeremy said the Mass was a great Mass. And um, so I really credit Father Tilly. And, Absolutely. And uh, Monsignor Moore. Did uh, Father Dominic do a Mass? I'm not sure if he did or not. I'm sure, I think, in that rotation, they all, that, that Father Dominic is part of it. But um, 
So there must be information out on the parish website. Well, so that, things are moving uh, in a dramatic way. Bishop Solis last week actually uh, spent a lot of time working with Governor Herbert and Lieutenant Governor Cox to be able to get the Catholic churches open. They did open last week. And this Sunday, I think we're going to make it much larger, the mass opportunities much larger. I'm not sure we'll do all seven masses, although we might. But what Father Tilly has in mind is expanding, like, the seating to be able to allow more people to be able to come to Mass and get back to a normal, awesome. you know. Time so to, that's a normal thing that's beginning to happen again. So how great really to great. be able to go back to Mass. How great is that? You okay, know? so what else is going on, like, around school this week? There's a lot happening. No, right? it's, it's a huge week. The, you know, a, a, a big annual rite that we have that starts uh, today are the stu uh, student body elections. So I, Mr. Tack is going to send out, of course, the speeches are electronic this year. We've got some really amazing candidates. They had to go and record their speeches, uh, so there are going to be videos. And I believe uh, Mr. Tack said that the, the voting starts this afternoon. Okay, so, so this is just for student body officers. Just and student body officers. We'll do officers. class officers later, and we'll do, okay, so that, that's going on. But every student, um, every freshman, sophomore, junior, I know can vote. I'm not sure if existing, do existing seniors get to vote? No, so it's just, just the three bottom just classes. Just the three, the three under, those three bottom classes. And then That's we'll do class, class elections later, right? Yeah. And then yeah. what else? We have AP exams are going on. They start today. They start like, they started like 45 minutes ago. So the first round. So, so we got class, we got student body elections. We've got AP exams. What about book return? Well, What's so going it's, on with book return? it's that end of year where all that stuff is happening. So uh, Mrs. Phelps, uh, sent out an email. We're going to put the, the times on that it's time for all of our students to bring your textbooks back. And um, along with that, you know, you don't want to you don't want to be caught up in the whole fine mess. So get your textbooks back. We're going to put it up on the screen, and it'll also be a link attached to this email so that everyone knows exactly how many. There's like 20 options she has for. She's made it so easy for students to bring their textbook, easy and safe. Okay. So. So that's great. A lot of things are kind of coming back to normal and. I think with each passing week, we're going to be allowed to do more and more, and hopefully we get to the end of May, 1st of June, and we'll have a much more normal feel for what's happening in school. But like one thing about it now is that like we have to finish strong academically, right? We oh can't just say, well, you know, it's, it's summertime and I'm sick of doing this, and so we don't do our schoolwork, and we end up with poor grades and incomplete assignments, and so that's something that's really important students that you stay strong academically. And, it's hard, though. I mean, I, I, I think it, it takes a lot of discipline, but you've got to do it, you know, especially as you, as you go into this last couple of weeks of school. So important to stay on top of your classes. So, so. one thing we're going to do maybe tomorrow or the day after is we're going to interview Father Tilly and ask him about uh, uh, church services that occurred uh, this past weekend. And then also, hopefully, he'll have more information about what the church services are going to be like this coming Sunday. I think what's happening is, thanks to the work of Bishop Solis working with the... Uh, state government, we're going to have an even greater expansion of church service opportunities. And so it's a really good sign that our government leaders are listening to our religious leaders. Bishop Solis has been a great leader of that. And it's really great. we'll get back to normal, you know, and, you know, because our faith life's important too. You know, it's, it's not just the academic stuff. It's, it's the, very, very important. Well, we're, you know, it's the, the, the Skaggs Catholic Center, Juan Diego Catholic High School, St. John the Baptist Catholic School. There were Catholic schools, so the celebration of the Eucharist is um, first and foremost. So, Okay, so let's just wrap this up. Like, what do we say at the end of every broadcast? Like, what do we do? Uh, it's the same, the same three things, and they're just as important now as they ever were. Number one, take care of yourselves. Number two, take care of your family and your friends. And number three? Number three, take care of Juan Diego. Make it a great day. We'll see you all tomorrow.